All right, head coach Jordan Mincy has made his way across the floor and joined us here in the postgame presented by Varsity Financial Services. Uh, coach, this one was a, this was a tough-fought basketball game. Back and forth, back and forth it went, uh, a game of runs. Where did you see toward the kind of the end of it there after your team was able to take the lead late that they were able to separate? Um, I think they just get a, a, a better job of us of doing um, execution down the stretch. You know, when they wanted to run their plays, they had key guys step up. Um, I thought their point guard was really, really good tonight. You know, um, Jalen Finch, you know, late clutch, six assists, zero turnovers. He really just ran the team, and he made the right decisions down the stretch. And so, you know, kudos to them and their coaching staff and their players for just, you know, grinding it out and beating us at our own game. And so um, we'll bounce back. I was just proud of our guys' effort. Um, and, you know, the way they came out. But I think we just kind of ran out of gas down the stretch. Yeah, the second half, the shots just weren't falling there for large stretches of it. But the defense was still so intense for large stretches of it as well that they never had a chance to really pull away. And then you're able to even like, use a 6-0 run to, to take the lead there, 49-48. I mean, these guys, what, what, what would you say about sort of the, the effort on defense here throughout the course of the day today? Um, our defense effort, well, it, it was on point, as you mentioned. You know, um, that magic number, I think, was 49, 48. And, you know, it's at times where our offense has to show up. You know, we had a couple key, you know, key opportunities around the rim. I don't think we capitalized. And I think we had a, a couple opportunities as well where guys were open. And we have to take advantage of those opportunities. And yeah. so being able to, to have an elite focus, um, being able to be unselfish and understand um, you know, timing and being able to understand possession and taking a quality shot um, during those stretches is key. And for us, um, like I said, we'll get back to the drawing board. Um, we'll write everything up and, and look at de in detail at the film and try to clean some things up going into next week. A little less than a month ago, this team was on the road at Liberty, one of the top teams in this league, and it wasn't close. This time, you play the top team in the league and Heck, you give them all they can handle, and they have to, to hold on late. I mean, have you seen growth in that type of – just in the last month in, in their ability to handle themselves in this type of environment? I have. I have. You know, um, after that Liberty game, you know, I thought our, our confidence was shot. And being able to know, you know, when you're looking in those huddles, you can tell those young men are confident. And like I said, I, I was proud of our guys, their effort, the whole team tonight. I think um, we just, like I said, just ran out of gas. And I got to do a better job of making sure I, I use more people on our bench, you know, getting them into the game. Um, getting them into the flow, and at the same time, um, you know, we're a little banged up. We played two teams this week. As you just saw, that game, they're extremely physical. Physical, yeah. And then uh, the game before, they were extremely physical. And so, we, uh, like I said, we'll get a chance to go back home. Um, happy to get back from our fan base and get back in Swisher Gym, and so it'll be fun. For the last six in conference play this season at home and a, a great opportunity for Jacksonville. Coach, appreciate the time as always, and we'll catch up with your radio show on Monday night. Looking forward to it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Scott.